Gold was first found here in 1926. And by the 1930s, the last gold rush in Australia took place in Tennant Creek. All up, Tennant Creek was Australia's third largest gold producer in its gold rush days. The last open cut gold mine closed in 1987, but there's still gold in them there hills. Jimmy, from a Queensland Aboriginal mob, has been fossicking here for more than 40 years. finding the gold? Uh, experience, of course. It didn't work from day one, I can tell you. Tender Creek is a hard uh, gold field to work. I'll, I'll go through on my hands and knees and, and have a look where I found gold first. Then I'll go back to that gravel and I'll read that. Beautiful sound. <laughs> he can read it all right. I can hardly believe my own eyes when he digs up a two ounce gold nugget. Now what I do now, to brighten up a bit, I go here. You bloody legend, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the feeling that you get when you find gold? I just go mad, I go, ooh, 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 yodelay, yodelay. <laughs> Do you enjoy the actual adventure of looking for gold, or is it having that gold in your hand? If it was muddy, I'd have put all the gold away. I could have been a billionaire in here, probably. So why do you do it? I just love it. Kiss me fit. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy needs to be fit to keep up with his 10-year-old son, Duquan. The little tacker loves spending time with Jimmy in the bush, and he too has a nose for gold. Find it. Oh, my goodness. That's a massive, mate. Wow. How much it worth? Four or five thousand dollars. I got my own little bit of gold. Whoa, that's neat. I got a deal for you. Yes. We go for a run. Yeah. If I win, I keep this for a bit. <laughs> if you win, you keep this for a bit. It's on. You're going to be gentle on me, though, right? I'm going to smash up. You broke me, and I reckon you've earned this one. Good job. <laughs> Thanks for the run. Can I rest now? <laughs> I want to welcome you to Gumtree 69. Beautiful. Gumtree 69 is made with spin effects in the traditional way. It really is quite something and it has all the mod cons of a welcoming home. And you built all this? Yeah, built all this. You're telling me about instead of concrete, you use... I use the anthill. The anthill instead yeah, of concrete. Uh, you see here, you can get down and have a good look at it. That's the end bed. We use everything from the bush. Yeah. Anything we can find. What about Duquan? Is he a good help around the, around the house? He is getting better. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you're pretty good at telling a bush yarn. Do you have them written down anywhere? I can't write. You remember I'm all top the... here. 
I squat beneath a gum tree, but oh, that's not a crime. I let an old spinner fax humpy under gum tree 69. Sun sparkle like the diamond, the skies are sapphire blue, and from the honeymoon ranges bounds a big buck kangaroo. And me backyard, the biggest you ever seen. I wake at dawn each morn to see this beautiful scene. So if you travel up through Tennant Creek, you'll see an old tin side. It'll reach the hookers camp at Gumtree 69. All the dingoes are howling, magpie sings a song, and that little willy wagtail will warn you when things are wrong. I may not have those splendid beaches or that picturesque coastline, but I do have the peace and quiet beneath me Gumtree 69. Not being able to read or write makes Jimmy determined life will be different for Duquan. He brings Duquan to school and picks him up every single day during term. Whoop, almost got it. You good? I'm good, mate. <laughs> Which brings me to sport, because I know from personal experience yeah, how it can heal and also empower. I'm gonna throw it quick and fast. Tyler, Duquan's teacher, tells me he sees his young self in Duquan. Oh, At that age, doing. he was a troubled Tennant Creek kid who luckily loved sport and was good at it. Beautiful. I think it, it really engages the Indigenous youth, males, to getting them to school and seeing the values of school. School kept him out of trouble and, and he hasn't looked self. back. And that's the growth of Duquan that I've really noticed is that he couldn't control his emotions and maybe he didn't know why. And maybe now he's trying to understand them more. Yeah. And over a duration of time, his attendance would be, he's been at least 90% since he started the school. Yeah, awesome. I think it's a lot to do with Jimmy. Um, I think Jimmy's done it like a, I wouldn't know, I don't know the words to describe the job, but basically Duquan wouldn't be who he is if it wasn't for Jimmy. So Jimmy's done a fantastic job and how do you feel having nice things said about you, Jimmy? Oh, <laughs> oh good move there, Kirk. Oh. 